coming to you live from Dodger Stadium as we get ready for game one of the National League Division Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the National League West champion Los Angeles Dodgers. For the Diamondbacks, they are fresh off their two-game sweep over the Milwaukee Brewers in the first round of the National League Wild Card Series. The Dodgers will send future Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw to the mound. Another sparkling campaign, though it was one that was filled with injury. He only made 24 starts. He went 13-5, posted a 2.46 ERA, and since coming off the injured list, he has been pitching in some phenomenal form. His 39th postseason game that he'll pitch in and the 32nd start of his playoff career for Los Angeles. Switch hitter Cattell Marte steps in, hit 276 for the season. Off-speed pitch, laced in the left center field. Outman on the run, misjudged it, and it pops out of his glove. And here's Marte sprinting for second and diving in. But Bob Outman, who has been outstanding in center field all season long, he's got to have the jitters also, right? First batter up in his first postseason and juggles this ball, not able to hold on to it. Not to start Kershaw is looking for. And it brings up Corbin Carroll. Carroll is four for seven with two home runs against Clayton Kershaw. Ball hit through the middle. Marte around third. He's going to score. And the Diamondbacks, who had to come from behind in both games in Milwaukee, jump in front here at Dodger Stadium. And they're a young rookie who's just had one of the finest seasons. Stolen bases, slug, defense. Gets them on the board with a single up the middle. And now Tommy Pham. Pham is a 10-year veteran with his seventh big league club. Line to left, a base hit. Carroll stops at second. Three straight hits by the D-backs to open the game off Kershaw. All the balls hit, too. Bob, right on the nose by the Diamondbacks, who have come out and have come out very aggressive against the great Kershaw. Now Christian Walker, five career home runs off Kershaw. His 14th pitch of this inning is driven to deep left. Back, way back, and off the wall. One run is home as Carroll sprints for the plate, and they'll have second and third with a 2 0 lead, and Kershaw is yet to retire a hitter. Walker was a little out in front of it, but he's so strong that he's able to hit it, even with that top spin against the base of the wall in left field. Before Peralta could get to it, it was a great read by both base runners. Now, Gabriel Moreno, the catcher, conked on the head by the backswing of Bryce Terang of the Brewers in game one of that series. High fly ball to deep left field. Forget about it. It's gone. A disastrous start for Clayton Kershaw. Moreno hit only seven during the regular season. Put a major charge into that one. And Gabby just hammered that ball. Five up, five runs in. It doesn't get any better than that. Goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. Five nothing D-backs and every D-back who has faced Kershaw has delivered a hit and they've all been hit hard. Now the batter is Guriel. Still nobody out. Hit to short. Rojas has it. There's the first out. Alec Thomas hit just 230, but he had a home run in game two in Milwaukee that started the D-backs comeback in that game. And he walks Thomas. And that indicates that Kershaw just is not on his game to walk this guy. And if you're Dave Roberts and you're taking out one of the kings of the game, you know what your team has done against Merrill Kelly. How far do you let it go? Evan Longoria celebrating his 38th birthday today. And Longoria slams one toward the gap in left center field and Outman dives but can't get it. It will go to the wall. Thomas on his way to third and being waved home. It's a double for Longoria. The peg to the plate is late and it's six nothing Diamondbacks. Roberts comes to get Kershaw. He's had a rough time before in the postseason. This has to be the worst of all those outings. If a picture tells a thousand words, maybe a thousand is insufficient in this case. Emmett Sheehan on the mound for the Dodgers. His debut, he threw six shutout innings against the Giants. They'll need that kind of effort here tonight. First man he'll face is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Sheehan retires the first man he faces. Great life on his fastball and an excellent changeup for the New York native. Going through the order the second time right now. Yep. See if Marte can drive him in. Ripped, gloved by Freeman. Terrific play. Takes it himself to put a merciful end from the Dodgers' perspective to the Arizona first. And making his major league debut here this evening on the mound for the Diamondbacks, it is right-hander Merrill Kelly. Now Kelly has had his struggles against the Dodgers, not just in 2023, but throughout his career. This is shaping up as an unhappy 31st birthday for one of the game's great players, Mookie Betts. Got him looking. Mookie is hopping mad as he turns toward the dugout. Freddie Freeman hit 331 with 29 homers and 102 driven in. Hit hard, gloved by Walker, gets to his feet and shovels it to Kelly to retire Freeman. 
Now Will Smith. The Dodger catcher hit 261 with 19 home runs. There's a base hit. Smith rounds first, but down six, he'll stay there. Now Muncy stepping in, the cleanup hitter tonight. Eighth in the league with 36 home runs. He knocked in 105. The Dodgers, of course, had four batters. Oh, there's a terrific diving snare by Christian Walker at first base. Corbin Carroll, who singled and scored a run in the first. A high drive to deep right field. This ball is gone, and I mean long gone. The minute it left the bat, you knew there was no way the ballpark would hold that one. He now has been on base eight times in two games and two innings in the postseason. That's the first out. Well, you got a couple guys on now. Lord is grounded to short, number six hitter. He made the first out of the ball game. Here's a line drive, another base hit for the D-backs. Lourdes Goriel comes through, another run crosses the plate, and it's eight to nothing. But now with the bases juiced, and you got Longoria up. A high fly ball to deep right field. Hayward goes back to the edge of the track to make the catch. It'll plate another run. So a sack fly for Longoria. And it's nine zip. Two on one out now for Will Smith. Smith lifts one to deep right. Back goes Carroll. Back to the warning track in front of the wall. He's got it. Rojas tags and takes third. Now here's Muncy. Line to first in his first at bat. First and third, two out. Bouncing ball. Walker's got it. Muncy barely gets out of the box, unassisted put out. Well, Kelly has a, a cushion to work with where he can just challenge hitters. He has a cushion as an understatement. And that's the first out of the fourth. Now Jason Hayward coming up. Hayward strikes out. He's over two on the night. Now here's David Peralta, former Diamondback, who doubled his first and only time up tonight. Woo. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, four for the game. Now with two out, Betts. Took a called third strike and has popped to short. Swing and a high fly ball right field. Playable for Carroll. And he will make the catch. And the Dodgers are done in order in the bottom of the fifth. Eight in a row set down by Kelly. He's retired nine of the last ten. There's two out. Now Max Muncy. Lined out, grounded out. Muncy grounds it to first. Should end the inning. Walker will take it to the bag himself. And that'll do it for the Dodgers in the sixth. Merrill Kelly from the third inning, retires the last 11 Dodgers in a row. Alec has walked twice, scored a run, he flied out to right field. Here's a drive to deep right center field, and it was worth the wait for Alec Thomas. He earned that one, fouled 11 of them off before finding one that was completely to his liking and sending it out of here. And it's 10-0 Arizona. Martinez takes a four-pitch walk to begin the seventh. Second walk that Kelly has given up. Now here's Hayward over two. Swing and a miss. Hayward down on strikes. Kelly gets his fifth strikeout. Terrific outing for Merrill Kelly. Fam looking for a fourth hit here. Tommy's been on five times in three games. Down the right field line toward the foul pole. Hayward in pursuit, lunging into the stands. And does he come back with the ball? He does not. Home run. Well, the first three homers tonight for the D-backs were blasted. This one sliced down the right field line over the low wall just inside the foul pole to make it 11 to nothing. And it's a four-hit night for Tommy Pham. Yeah, what a night for Pham. Castro now with two on for Smith. Smith tonight has a hit. He's one for three. At first, make it. Somebody's going to be a third now. That ball into the corner. Betts around third, heading for the plate. Freeman right behind him. Smith sprinting for third. He's got a triple, and the Dodgers are on the scoreboard. Two up, two down to the ninth inning. Here is Hernandez, who came on as a pinch hitter. Little squibber to the right side, gloved by Walker. He shovels it over to Frias, who works a very tidy bottom of the ninth. And that is that as Kike Hernandez is the last out. They take a 1-0 series lead in the National League Division Series over the Dodgers. What a fantastic game for the D-backs. I mean, they came out of the shoot like they were ready to play in this game. They pitched well, they hit well,